You ready? Let's go. <laughs> Greetings everybody, I am here in Portugal with Miguel, who is a, a fruit collector, very famous in the fruit Not collecting... Not so famous as you are. In the fruit collecting wor world. Uh, I asked people, uh, some friends of mine, like, who should I talk to when I, when I come to Portugal? And unanimously, talk to Miguel. So I wanted to go visit Miguel's... Uh, Farm or not farm? You've got a collection. Just a place, yeah. A place, a collection. A terrain with fruit trees, nothing else. Uh, but you're further up in the north. I, I wanted to go and visit you, but my plans changed, and I, I couldn't get out that way. Ran out of time. But you came down to me here in Lisbon, and you brought a few uh, very interesting fruits with you. And what we're going to talk about today are uh, two Eugenia fruits that I've talked about in the past, but not ones exactly like this. This is uh, a Suriname cherry, also known as, uh, it's, it's Pitanga. Pitanga. That's, yeah. that's what it's Pitanga, called here. Pitanga, it's the name, Brazilian name. This one looks quite a bit different than ones I've talked about in the past. Uh, the ones I've had in the past have been very red, like bright red, or uh, I also had a variety that was like a dark purple. This one's orange. So I'm not sure if it's going to taste much different, but it definitely looks different. Hey, Jerry, I think the fruits are attracting the ducks. Here. Okay. <laughs> As we, we have competitors here. We've got some ducks here. We have a close eye on our uh, fruit collection here. We've got a pigeon too. Get out of here. You can't have this. <laughs> We've got some exotic fruit lovers. Oh. <laughs> They don't... They like them! <laughs> okay, we gotta keep an eye. <laughs> we gotta keep an eye on our fruit. So we don't, uh, we don't have them uh, run off of them. <laughs> Where was I? We've got the, uh, the Suriname cherry. Mm. That's really good. Really nice, very juicy. It's got a very thin skin around it. And then when you bite through that, it's just like filled with juice. You don't have hardly any resistance to it. And the flavor, I would say it's kind of like a little bit like cherry, but with a touch of bell pepper. Ones that I've had in the past have been more bell peppery. This one is more like a cherry. It's got more of a, a fruit taste and less of that kind of um, slight, I don't know, like uh, almost peppery kind of taste, more of a vegetable sort of taste. This one is more like the, a fruit taste. It's not very sweet, but it is very refreshing. I'd say the sweetness is maybe like a like a four out of ten something like that it's not as sweet as like an apple but it's got a nice little bit of uh, sweetness to it a little touch of tartness to it maybe like a, like a two or something um, Miguel what how would you describe the the flavor of this one uh, I have several uh, yep. tangas on my collection this is one of my favorites um, usually uh, most people talk about uh, a gasoline taste, a gasoline aftertaste. I don't note that, uh, notice never that uh, aftertaste on this mm -hmm. variety. Uh, I've gotten I, that I just flavor brought before. you this one because it's the only one in season. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I have other other varieties that are also very tasty, very mm -hmm. good. But middle May, this was the only one right right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, I've, I've had some varieties that have a little bit of that, uh, that gasoline. Kind of, gasoline is like a, you know, a rude way of putting it, but it's like a, like People a talk about curry leaf. Terebintine kind of. taste. Right. It's, there's, there's, a, there's a compound that you get from, from some plants that is reminiscent of gasoline. Like if you ever had a curry leaf, it's a little bit more like that. Bell pepper kind of has a little bit of that as well. But really, really good. Uh, and we have one more here. Uh, I think this is maybe a, a good place to put it. Uh, this is another related uh, species. So it's the same genus, correct? The Eugenia it's, genus. It's uh, Myrtacea, Eugenia genus. It's Eugenia calicina. Okay. From Cerrado region in Brazil. 
And it, w what is the uh, a common name for this? In Brazil, they call it Cerrado Cherry or Savannah uh, Cherry. Yeah. Cerrado, Savannah Cherry. Savannah is, uh, Cherry. I think it's how uh, Adam Schaffron uh, yeah. called it when he sent you some. Okay. Many years ago, I, I was sent uh, a Savannah Cherry from uh, Flying Fox Fruits. You trade with Flying Fox Fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is, is this uh, his collection or? I believe the. Adam Schaffer and Cerrado Sherry's are brothers or sisters and uh, this one. Okay. <laughs> Probably. That's the one really cool thing is when uh, with people who s trade seeds around you you can kind of trace back where things came from. Yeah. So I've actually have eaten fruit that is the the children of fruit from your farm Probably. already. Probably. <laughs> I love that. I think that's you can kind of like trace the the lineage of some of these fruits. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna, I hope you don't mind, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go for it with this one. Really nice. That has a cherry flavor to it, like more so. And I'd say a little bit more of like, um, like a black cherry. But the difference with it is the texture. You know, when you bite into it, again, it's just like a little thin bit of skin around it, and then the inside is just juice. So you bite into it, and it's like you're drinking the fruit. Very little resistance. Uh, it does have some seeds in it though, and this the uh, Suriname cherry, the Patanga, had one seed. This one has um, three, three seeds to it. And it's related to the Suriname cherry, but the flavor is, is quite different. They both have a flavor reminiscent of cherry, but this one is like a, a like a deeper sort of sort of taste, and uh, the Suriname cherry tends to have a little bit of that bell pepper taste. This one, I'm not really getting that. Not so much. Um, so it's a little bit more towards a, towards a cherry in, in taste. Uh, any anything you would uh, like to add to it, Miguel? That no, no, no. You uh, describe it well. It's okay. your job to describe the fruits. I'm just the supplier. <laughs> Well, the the difference between me and you, though, is that you have had many more many, many. Ty types of uh, Eugenia than me, so you uh, can relate it to another one. But um, yeah, so the this very very tasty Suriname cherry, uh, Savannah cherry, other fruits from this from this genus are really really good. But it's again something that is very tricky to get your hands on because they are very perishable. Like I said, you yeah, bite you into it. You have to grow it yourself to, yep. to, uh, to, to consume it fresh. I, I've seen them at markets like a little bit, but it'd be like side of the road <laughs> uh, while I'm traveling. Somebody probably picked them that morning and brought them there. Like you're not going to find it at you know a supermarket that's because it's, it's not going to last more than a day on the shelf. And um, apparently ducks like it too. <laughs> Ducks yeah, like it too. We are much. we are still surrounded by ducks, and they are waiting they for are us to everywhere. be done. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I think that's about it. Miguel, thank you so much for sharing this with me. Bye bye. And uh, I will see you next time with even more fruit from uh, your fantastic collection. Thank you. Till then. Bye bye, guys. And yes, uh, I know that you're probably wondering what the ducks think about this uh, this fruit here. So let's see. <laughs> oh, that one got it. Very popular Eugenia fruit amongst uh, all the ducks. <laughs> Alright, goodbye everybody. <laughs> There's no more, I'm sorry. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Lofty Rex, and JMac. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon, I'm sure you've heard about it, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the adventures that I go on on this channel and how I buy all the fruit that I buy. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, check out the link in the description below. Another way to help out is by going to my website. My website has all my videos organized into categories, which is pretty cool, and I also have t-shirts for sale over there. So check it out, and I will see you all next time.